Hey guys, we're starting the Bonneville. Swap's done, man. What the heck? Oh shit, it's not starting. Oh shit, I forgot. Check engine lights on, let's check the engine. Shit, I forgot. We forgot to put the starter in. What shit. the heck? Oh, and I forgot, I forgot to install the hood struts again. Damn it. Shit. All God right. damn thing. It's been a while, been a minute, but we are back working on the uh, Bonneville's engine. Yeah, we're just, we need to go to the store because Vince actually took the valve spring tool and uh, we still need to get these cylinder heads put back together. Uh, we didn't show much of it or any of it actually, but did we do all the valves? No. Uh, I think <clears throat> I'm still not done with them. Vince might have took the valve grinding compound as well actually. Uh, we can also buy that. Yeah, so. But I think I have these three left. Yeah. I'll have to check. So we've been, uh, or Tristan's been grinding these valves. Oh, that looks really clean, actually. Let me see if we can get that on camera here. Does not really come up on camera, but it's really shiny in person. So Comparative, Compared to, I think ones. I might have done that one. Yeah, I definitely didn't do that one. Compare those two. Oop. Oh, it's, it's pretty good. Dropping bales. Yeah, so basically what you do is you get this uh, valve grinding compound, you put it on the lip, and then on the other side, <clears throat> you get a drill, attach it to the valves, and put some pressure on it and spin it, and uh, it, it grinds them down and resurfaces it a bit, you know? So uh, the valves will make a good seal. I watch, a, I watch a few videos on YouTube, and they have a suction cup that goes on the valve, and so they're, they're pushing on the valve back and uh, forth yeah. instead of like attaching the drill to the thing. I would recommend that, but I mean, we didn't have that. Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, actually, I don't think I did that one too. Yeah, so, we'll go, but, go through all of them. But these yeah. look pretty clean from what they were. Yep. Comparatively to that, you can see the pitting on it. I mean, it's going to be kind of hard to see on camera, but yeah, they but trust us. They're they're much better after this process. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and probably just get situated here. I do need to clean up a little bit. So we're going to get started on that. Hey guys, so like as Davis said earlier, I don't think that we showed any of this on video. We were too busy a couple weeks ago when we were when I was doing this. So right now, I'm lapping the, the seals of the valve seals. Like we already explained, that one looks really good. Stuff like that. See how shiny it is? It's pretty good. So I got four more to go. Well, actually, I did this one before I I, I uh, left, but I had to quit, so uh, it's not good enough. I'm going to do a little better. Did you hear that? So this is how I'm doing it. So this is basically have the end with this drill attached and then uh basically gonna go be going in and out and spinning it like this like so like this not putting too much pressure on it not going too fast either doing that so like i said i, I already did this one but i'm redoing it because it just looks a little it wasn't finished so oh god oh man snow <laughs> trying to fucking punch me from behind but this is basically how I'm doing it. Did you already do these ones? Huh? Did you no, do I didn't. Ones? No, I didn't. Let me see one of the ones you already did. I want to compare like my valve lapping to yours. I'm gonna see. Just because I want to have a general idea. So the valves, the valves themselves, don't look as good as like the so seals on the heads. Yours are about the same as mine. It doesn't look like it hit the holes surface no it didn't it does it hits kind of the middle okay yeah. that's just the thing i was kind of weirded out about with mine these ones are just a little pitted unfortunately because they are from the body um valves are actually fairly cheap you could buy some new ones really that's what my grandpa was saying he that's said they're true. like three bucks a valve or something that is true i could but that that would mean that all of this would be for naught true but but saying. but uh well then again you're not using any new valves i have new valves and some like used ones, so I'm just That's gonna true. buy some more new ones. The the uh, Camaro has the Camaro's engine has one new valve because <laughs> uh, the machine shop actually did a really good job resurfacing, like the basically doing this. I would imagine. So 
So now. Here you go. I'm gonna go help with the Mustang. Here. Okay. So now, this is the same cup of water I used three weeks ago when I was doing this. So basically, they say that uh, this stuff right here. What, so it basically, it, it's very gritty, and what you can do is, uh, they say you should add water four separate times to make this a, lo uh, a higher grit, so it's less gritty. And uh, I will do that four times, a little bit excessive, I think, but, you know, add a little bit of water to the valve, Just I, I'm just sticking it in. That's not going in straight. So I also oiled up the uh, the uh, shaft of the valves so that when they're going uh, when they're rotating in the uh, when these valves are rotating, they're not like grinding material off of like the sides because they're pretty close fit. Now it's sliding. So basically, I'm just legitimately sticking the end of the valves in some oil and getting the entire shaft oily so that they don't grind on these holes here and then i'm gonna okay now i'm doing it again with a slightly higher grit all right and that's basically all i'm doing right now you can see after like three weeks of not working on these heads, even though I oiled the shit out of them, they got a little bit of surface rust here and there. I wiped most of it off, but you can see that too. It fucking sucks. I don't want to have to resurface these again because I really am nervous about how much material that I'm going to be taking off these things. So, uh, yeah. But uh, maybe I'll show you guys a time lapse of me doing the rest of the four... So Tristan's been cleaning up and painting some parts for the uh, Bonneville here. This is just a primer coat. Was this the ceramic stuff or? Yeah. And then uh, he's also gonna do a black paint, uh, coat of paint on it that is uh, up to like 2,500 degree resistant or whatever. He's also uh, cleaning up these valve covers. They were kind of messed up. The front one looks a little bit better. The rear though is kind of bubbled up. But actually, the uh, the primer I don't think is ceramic, but the the paint is has ceramic. Okay, well, no don't fine. know the difference or whatever, but both are up to the you know the job of dealing with engine temps. So, yep. So um, this will go on the rear because it looks worse. That one will go on the front, but uh, it should look fine. I mean, yeah. I mean, the back one's never gonna be really seen. So we're, I'm thinking of painting the engine and supercharger uh, red and then having the exhaust and the uh, these be black to accent it. So it'd be kind of like that, but with red. Nice. Yep, so that's what we've been up to. I've also just been troubleshooting my Mustang, so just doing that. Yep. Stall. 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 So hey guys, we are uh, working on the Bonneville here. It we're is. Gonna put a stall in it. It's Washington weather, so it's raining. So we're just kind of doing some easy stuff. So we got the converter out, and uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to see in there, but uh, there is some uh, tomfoolery. Yeah, messed like this ups. bearing is literally just like falling apart. Yeah, like it's literally chipping off. That wasn't anything from us taking it out. There was no like. It wasn't taken out violently or anything. Well, I guess that's not true. We did lift it out with the fucking engine. That could have been why. <laughs> that could Don't have been why. Worry about it. But, but I, ZZP it, sells a, a, a 2500 salt converter for really yeah, Tristan's cheap. Tristan's like really opposed but, to getting for or, some junk. Or maybe we could possibly get that bearing and no. replace no. it. No. No. What? No. 2500 salt, and so then you go get bearing, a bearing. Bearing to make it okay. 
Stall! No, that's that, $300. At that, at that point, that point you might as well just buy a new OEM one. Why? Bearing. Why not just replace the Who, bearing? Do people remanufacture these shit, these things? Who knows? Bring what? it to the, talk to your machine shop. Yeah. Also, he's, we did have to bring the cylinder heads to the machine shop because, uh, they're, Tristan noticed that the valves weren't sealing all the way. He put some water through it upside down and it was dripping. Yeah, so, and, yeah. so the options were to lap it more and remove more material or to just stop and take it to a machine shop to have them do it right. So that's what I decided to do. It's 130 bucks for the valve job. They're also machining the heads, right? No. Okay. No, I specifically, no, nah, I don't need it. And okay. then, uh, though he did, he did have like a, a tool to measure it and he said that it looked fine, but mm -hmm. he also told me not to use the Rolex pads. He uh, he showed me actually this uh, this thing that they use, um, and I've seen it on uh, YouTube. And that's my fault, or that's not my fault for like not paying attention no, no, to that's that. That's definitely your fault. Oh, it is. Like I should I should but do that because he said he said with those with those like pads, what you can do is you can round off the edges and like a lot of the holes, and uh, definitely not a good thing because then the gasket won't seal like correctly. But he said it looked fine, but I'm not gonna do it like that next time. I'll use like uh, what they use is just something kind of big and heavy that will go across the entire block flat, and then they wrap that in sandpaper. And yeah, they, I've seen they that do before. that. And I've seen that on uh, I've seen that on YouTube, but I didn't want to do that. So, but okay. now next time I'll do that. So uh, yeah, we got the garage cleaned up a little bit. There's still some more stuff to do. We w ideally wanted to get the transmission out. Um, we ideally wanted to get the transmission out like today but uh it's it's raining it's, hard it's in rain. and uh no end in sight it didn't necessarily say it was supposed to rain today but it's just yeah it's bad it was pouring a lot harder earlier you um know, we get we did get this uh table cleared off to put it on this bearing specifically looks like the uh the input shaft dug into it with its teeth mm -hmm. so it's a really good thing that we're changing to a different input to a 2500 shaft. stall shut the and a quick shift. Yeah, like see what four. you're gonna do is you're no! gonna you're gonna put that shit. Dude, you'd love how fast it shifts. Yeah, put a quick six in it or a quick four in it. You want to shift? Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah. Ch ch if you want to make your transmission really fast, check out U.S. Shift. They're awesome. Guaranteed, they could do nothing for that beast because it would they're run like, it. They're like, oh it, no no, that is a shitty old transmission. We can't do anything with that. That's not true. It's just All a computer for it. Is put your new fucking parts in it. Get your stall, get your computer, put a nice trans cooler on it, you're good. God, Because you're not going to make enough power to really hurt it once you put your upgraded stuff in it. Okay, so it's like, it's like putting 329 gearing in it, and then also getting a higher stall for it. Dude, it'd is, be sick, though. It would do nothing but burn rubber and not go. Get some fucking slicks for the front. What the fuck? You want me to break it? You're I'm building not, the transmission, It's now. a daily driver! So my car's a daily driver. No, it's a race car. I drive it to work every day. He has a start button now. I drive it to work every day. No, that's if he had toggle switches. My God. It's race a push start. Car? A lot of cars yeah, have push starts. It's start a push start, but yeah, with the ignition. The standard. My God. Yeah. Only because that was a workaround that you had to do. Yeah. It's stock. It's no. <laughs> my God. It's totally stock. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Let us know what you think about this because it's it's uh, honestly really messed up. There's actually some better lighting on it. Yeah, I have my flashlight too. And it's not just there; it's yeah. a lot of other space spaces too. So, yep. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, you can see this. The, the actual gears down there look fine. Yeah, that's just so fucked. Yeah, I don't and see even on the top. Like it's just coming out. I don't see any like chips in there, and I think that uh, with the teeth marks in there, I'm pretty sure it was just from we us removing check, it. We should check the input. It's kind of slowed down, raining. Actually, you know what? That might be the output shaft, wouldn't it? No. No. Nope. That's the input shaft. I mean, I don't see anything crazy on it. Well, oh, it's loose. Oh jeez. Oh god. Oh shit. Holy fuck! Is that oh. supposed to be like that? Oh, that doesn't sound good. I can't even see it, and that sounds awful. Well, let's get a new input shaft, so. Let me see. Give it a wiggle. Ah. Uh, see, this won't uh, move, but. Is it? I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. If you know, tell us. We don't. We should. All we put, know is the tiny one wiggles quite a bit. We should put that on our Instagram story because I bet people can answer us real quick. Yeah. So I but mean. I. Oh, he broke it. Don't. It's gonna drop on you. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean, I didn't stick my head under there anymore. So for this, we need to remove the uh, 
what was it? When you remove the, the wiring to it, there's a motor mount that the bolt's just all the way through and broken because yeah, we can get through it a lot quicker with a sawzall. That's what I'm saying. Just like, cut the no, head of the, the bolt. wires, saw, saw, saw the oh, bolt, saw, saw the transmission. Well, you know, if, we, if we're putting a quick four in it, you know, it wouldn't need any of the harness anymore, so you're right. No. <laughs> we're also going to set up the second jury rig garage because we have two garages. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned up. Yeah. He needs to take his engine that's been sitting here for a while back there. Yeah. I have to figure out how to pull the crank out or see if I can get an engine stand for it. I still need to buy that tool to take it because we can remove it like that. We do, we would. Have videos on how to do it with that one. Like, I've seen some videos up. I haven't watched them, but we might be able to watch one of those mm -hmm. and find a solution. This might be something to try. Yeah, we need to get this heifer out of here. Big old 6.0. Yeah, buddy. Gonna be a, what would it be after 6.7? Yeah, the, the little wiggly bit inside is not like. You're a fucking wiggly bit. It doesn't come with this, so if that bit's a it. bad. Yay, more parts, 2500 stall. No. I wanna stop buying parts for this fucking car, I want it to work. Welcome to the Trans Am. Fuck! Ford. It's probably a better idea. Honestly, all you guys were big fucking GM fanboys, and I had a Mustang. Who's oh, the I most reliable? GM fanboy. I, I want a Pontiac. I don't give a fuck about Chevy. That's true. I like Chevy. I'm just kidding. I like GM. Ford well, has proven by, to by me what, though, that by what you it's want. more reliable. Well, I mean, liking GM, I like some of their choices in cars, but uh, they make a lot of bad decisions. Like killing Holt. Well, that was nah. Stop killing. killing Pontiac, you mean. So, what... what that, was, that was everything. truly <clears throat> what, what sucked. So, what are we going to do now? Take the transmission out. Just start on taking the transmission out? Yeah. We seriously need to... We, we should have bought that canopy stands. a while ago. Yeah. We got to get it... We got to get her on jack stands, take the wheels off, and... Uh, oh, that sounds like... Unbolt the hubs. Answer. And mm -hmm. then the uh, axle will come out. Mm-hmm. If someone gets Tristan 500 bucks, we'll sell it to you. <laughs> no? Just mess yep. with him. No. On page what, what's in it right now? into your fucking trailer. What's into it? Yeah, right. Wow. There's nothing. There's no engine in it. So yeah, it's yeah. blown up. Yeah. No? Yeah, there ain't. Car's useless about it. Selling it for that? It's got some scuffed up fucking wheels. ghetto ass wheels. Yeah. Those are Mustang wheels. He's got Mustang wheels on his Bonneville. Okay, so we're going to get prepared, ready to do whatever we're going to do with the Bonneville. It Suffer is still raining. It's raining. And, uh, yeah, the, the converter looks kind of messed up, so, uh, I'm trying... Damn. You, you guys should convince him to get a stall, because it'd be a better... S supposedly, ZZP's first car that broke an output shaft, uh, ran... was running a high 11. I don't think I'll have so to worry about the that. the output shaft but is different. It's that little, uh, skinny bit that was wiggling. And the tiny doodle bobber. <clears throat> so I need to see if that wiggly is supposed to happen or if it's supposed to be tight yeah we'll put po we'll post that on instagram and see what people say so all right we are going to cut back once we have some more progress <laughs>